All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. I think what's uh, incredible about the investing opportunity now is there's so many different strategies that can be deployed by a lot of different investors that may want to take on a little bit more of a hands-on approach. Um, and there's also those strategies out there for those uh, investors out there that know the importance of investing. They just don't have the freaking time. Uh, nor the bandwidth, uh, nor, nor the desire to actually enter into an investing and 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 to take on the time necessary um, that it takes, or what they interpret to be the time necessary to succeed in investing. Um, this is going to jump you into my uh, passive portfolio, and I spend zero time managing this portfolio. I passively invest in the market over time. It's done quite well. We're going to disclose those numbers for you guys, jump you into the account. And for those investors out there who, who want to seek some exposure to the market, it doesn't have to be deployed in the exact strategy um, that I'm going to uh, demonstrate for you guys in this video. But I think it can open up a lot of doors uh, for those investors out there who don't have the time and they can really relate with some of the ideas out there that yes, you indeed can succeed in investing if you don't have the time uh, to devote to more of an active profile. So with that, we're going to kick you in. We're going to review the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. Uh update opportunity to jump into a real portfolio. This is a Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. I know that's a mouthful for a lot of you guys. And if you don't know what a sector ETF is, um, it, it, it basically just breaks down the stock market into different segments, technology, industrial, healthcare, financials, materials, energy, real estate, discretionary, staples, things like that. And each of those uh, companies can be categorized into each of those. Now, the ETF basically goes after the entire sector. So it's a basket of, in some cases, hundreds of stocks. And even some of these ETFs have uh, thousands of stocks, a couple thousand. I think the Staples one is, is, is fairly large. So this portfolio, even though you're seeing only um, 11 uh, of the sectors represented here, uh, keep in mind that the ETF is the product itself. And then within each of the uh, umbrella, um, there's multiple holdings, hundreds of, of holdings. So the real takeaway, I, I want to make sure that folks really understand that the power of diversification, okay? And where active investing, uh, if you're seeking out a uh, single stock from an active perspective, but doing so passively, um, that that's great. That does require a little bit more wherewithal about the market. But to buy the technology ETF itself really doesn't require a whole lot of homework at all. The only thing that I would mention that it would be necessary in a portfolio structure like this is to take 100% of your pie and determine what percentages you would want to each of the 11 sectors, okay? Um, I've already done that for me. Uh, I make that available to you guys uh, in the comment section of all of my rollout videos that I do on M1 Finance because um, it is the premier way of sharing information with investors out there that um, really just want the goods, man. They're just like, Ryan, give me the goods. I want the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. And I, I do that. M1 Finance makes it possible now to provide the goods to you guys, okay? This is just a, a, another at angle or an avenue for me to come on and say, hey, here's, here's what real performance looks like. A little bit more mature of a portfolio. Both of my M1 Finance portfolios were established in 2019. Um, the one was established at the end of 2019. This was established a little bit more toward the beginning, okay? And for you guys that catch my weekly videos or my updates on my M1 portfolios, um, this is where my YouTube, um, uh, one of my income streams that I have through the channel goes to. So if you weren't interested at all in how I seek out my investing perspective, if you heard me out and there's one or two or 10 or 100 people out there that just heard what I said, 
not a bad idea of establishing somewhat of a side hustle to say, look, I, I don't do YouTube, but I do this over here on the side. Maybe I do some side work. Maybe I do some whatever it is that you do for some side work it might be kind of cool to leverage some of those dollars and where you might earn $100 might be kind of cool to establish an account like this to start to generate um, taking that hard earned $100 and making some passive income with it. Okay, so the top end here at 15202 gains at 4500. This is just incredible performance uh, from such a, a relatively small portfolio. Um, I do nothing on this portfolio except for monitor it for fun. That's it. And for you guys that do not have the time, nor the bandwidth, nor uh, a desire to put forth the effort necessary to engage in an active profile. This passive profile is for you. This is sleepy money. Anybody can do this. This is very, very simple to engage in a wealth building program like this. Now, I'd be hard pressed to say that these gains would be possible if you were to put your hard earned dollars into a savings account. <laughs> okay. Now, I do have um, cash put aside in my savings account earning anemic returns. But those funds are earmarked for different purposes. The funds that are allocated to this are performing in the manner that I've asked them to perform. They provide me some capital appreciation here at 44.17 on the top end. And they do occasionally render a nice little dividend here. I can remember when this was started, these first payouts were like 7 cents, 15 cents, 21 cents, uh, 80 cents, you know, and, and the dividends have just grown over time here. And just over two years time, it's just been amazing to see how these dividends compound over time if I just do the easiest, most difficult thing that there is to do in investing seemingly, and that is just to leave it the F alone. And this, if there's any consolation, I guess, for me in M1 Finance is M1 Finance kind of bakes in a little bit of discipline, and I benefit from this because I'm probably a little bit more hands-on in my other portfolios that I, than I should be. Um, with that said, with these passive portfolios that I have, um, with the employer-sponsored, um, with these two brokerage accounts, and they're all passive. I don't touch them. I've got a significant amount of wealth in them. I'm closing in on $100,000 of passive wealth in those, right? I kind of justify in some capacity taking a little bit more of an active profile in my larger strategic layers. And that's just the way I justify it. And that's the way I want to invest. But let's cruise down here. It's obviously the performance and value over time has done great. Um, you know, if the market ends up correcting on us, I will be in a position to fund this up as appropriate um, as, you know, I'm kind of in a, a, a habit of dollar cost averaging this and, and living to fight another day. I don't spend a lot of time manifesting over this. I don't spend any time at all, you know, trying to think about how I can retool this portfolio. Uh, I, I just let it go. I let it be. And the real returns here speak for themselves. I mean, the lowest return dollar amount here is just shy, just over a hundred bucks here, just shy of a hundred and a half. And it's in utilities, which has been um, really kind of a drag over the last year, year and a half anyway. Um, what you kind of miss here is that this contributes a lot to the dividend payouts. So this 139 does provide some capital appreciation, not too shabby. Now, this is the target allocation that I talked about when, you know, if you wanted to just copy my portfolio per se um, and then use it as a, a as a benchmark or a baseline, you could do that. This is just what makes sense for me. Um, this is how I wanted to kind of throttle my exposure in each of the sectors. And it's doing quite well. Maybe a little bit more aggressive um, top end weighting toward technology. Um, healthcare a little more conservative, financials conservative. But hey, you know, if you've got your favorites out there, it is completely uh, amendable and adjustable and tailorable to your needs. Um, but, um, you know, on some of the larger uh, gains here, I mean, we're closing in on $800 of gains on a, 
relatively small amount of investment, you know, $1,200 here. The rest is capital gains. $1,900 here with, you know, closing in on a $400 gain. This is just incredible. And, you know, you look at the year-over-year -year performance at these sector ETFs, they've been performing fantastic since inception. And I believe it goes all the way back to 2004. Um, so you guys can correct me on that if I'm along, but these have got some real staying power in that they've gone through some bear markets. They've gone through some segments of non-performance uh, in the stock market, and they've weathered the storm, and they've they've really held true on the test of time here, um, you know, going on uh, almost two decades um, that these have been around. What a great way of investing, man. Coupled with the power of Vanguard's low-cost ETF and to take that and put it with the power of M1 Finance, look, this is somewhat experimental in nature. I caught a lot of grief when I did this initially. Um, who's laughing now? Um, I'm not. Uh, you know, I knew this would work. In the capacity of how well it would work, um, I I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, and And for you guys that you know, want to seek out kind of a hybrid strategy of investing. What a great opportunity to come on in a 10 minute video and understand how I seek out exposure to the 11 sectors of the S&P 500 using the sector ETFs, not leaving or omitting any of the sectors out and doing so with the power of M1 Finance, dividend and portfolio redistribution of funds, taking dollar cost average funds every month and having them flow into this account. It's wealth building 101, guys. The scary part about my message is anybody can come into my message and in a 10-minute video be motivated and inspired to say, I can absolutely do that too because you absolutely can. Fantastic. So with that, guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys. So we've come out of the sector. ETF portfolio, passive investing 101, baby. This is it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to invest in this manner. A lot of my dollars are tied up in a passive strategy. What that means is I allocate those dollars and I let them go. I don't touch them. Um, I monitor them for fun, probably more than I need to because I'm not, I'm not monitoring them with the intent of making any moves based on my observation of how the portfolios are performing. And I think for a lot of people, that's great. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people can spend a little bit of time, maybe once a year saying, yep, we're on track, check, and then moving on with their busy lives. I just think bottom line, a lot of more people need to um, be involved in the stock market. I really do. Um, and we're, we're blowing down barriers to entry and, 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 and making investing more achievable for those investors out there um, that are looking for different avenues. Okay. It doesn't mean that my strategy has to fit nor do I believe that that's the intent of, of my message at all. Um, what you should really get out of this is to understand, yeah, I'm seeking out a lot of different strategies. All of them work. They work really well. They require a different risk tolerance a little bit for each one. Uh, but each and every one of them meet my bottom dollar uh, goal of, of achieving wealth. Uh, and uh, bottom line is making money. Um, I don't do stock market investing for any other reason, okay? I've got my long-term goals, but if this wasn't lucrative, uh, I certainly wouldn't be coming onto YouTube and, and sharing my testimonial about how lucrative it can be, uh, and it absolutely can. If you relate with the message, man, I want to make sure and subscribe to the channel. Um, get notifications for the new content that I put on all the time, okay? I put lots of different uh, avenues of content online. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Um, share the message with anybody out there that you think may relate with my, um, my, my approach uh, to sharing through a testimonial in YouTube, um, you know, how I deploy uh, my wealth building strategy. Uh, and uh, if you think that there's folks out there that can relate, man, share the message, bring them onto the channel. We're looking to build a community of empowered investors one at a time. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.